and welcome to tonight's upload. My name's Emma, subscribe for blogs and hauls and all other sorts of fun things. So, it is rapidly approaching Christmas and I thought I'd take a break from my vlogmas schedule to do a little bit of a festive haul. The other day I did a festive clothes haul, including such beauties of these Pat Butcher earrings. I know you wish you were the Pat Butcher of Birmingham, but I'm sorry, that is me. And also I've got a jingle, a jingle bella top on. I can confirm I'm wearing my pyjama bottoms on the bottom. But tonight I'm doing a festive tat in the house. Tat is not a negative thing. Tat in my eyes is a thing of beauty. And it's a thing I fill my house with up the most. So Pound Stretcher sent me a huge big cardboard box filled with all sorts of Christmas tat. And I've kind of split it into a couple of sections. So we've got tat that I will keep in the house. Tat I will give to mother for Christmas day because I don't think I mentioned but we go to Christmas. We have Christmas lunch at my mother's house and tat for the kids to keep them occupied because currently they are hanging off the lampshade in the ceiling screaming thank you uncle Russell Meyer for the CBeebies panto. So let's start off with tat for me. I love candles, you love candles, 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 candles. Boom! So this is 2 pounds It's got a candle in. It's called Winter Wonderland. It smells really nice. I'll be honest, come January, I'll rip off the um, the icicle and I will have this in my bathroom. And then once it's gone down, I'll probably put cotton wool pads in it because that's the kind of, basically, I'm basically like the Pinterest mom that just like upcycles, AKA burns a candle and puts cotton wool in it. The next thing for 149, flipping it, that's good is a little thing to put tea lights in. That's really cute. Again, that's the kind of thing you could probably have all year round, not necessarily just for Christmas. You can't beat a mason jar to drink out of. You can't beat a candle one. So this is 2.49. It's a scented candle in a jar. Um, it's not the strongest of scents. And again, come January, oh, that'll be ripped off. But I think that'll look really nice on your table or in a fireplace. It's just really cute and I like to call it shabby chic. Another thing that I love and my husband hates, but let's be honest, I don't actually care, is fairy lights. So we've got some 149, some red fairy lights that I'll probably bung around the Christmas, <laughs> the kids' Christmas tree, which is hot pink. So a hot pink tree with red fairy lights. Well, now that's a sight to behold. Also for $4.99 we've got some clear fairy lights. Um, idea for white trees. Ooh, I have not got white tree. We've got a plastic green tree. So that is some of the stuff that I'll be keeping which I loved. Then going on to the kiddos. My kiddos are going bonkers. So we've got some stuff that maybe Father Christmas might put in their stockings. I'm not saying that my children watch my videos but maybe Father Christmas might want to put this in. Miles! Miles from tomorrow. If none of you have children, that I can confirm that is a theme tune, which I sang very badly. That is, well, it hasn't got a price on, but that's a great little stocking filler. If you are quickly panicking about filling them stockings. Another thing for my girl, and this, instead of 12 dollars this is 4 dollars blimey. Glitzy globes. Have any of your kids have glitzy globes? Mine loves them. You fill them with water. They're like little tiny um, snow globes. That's another good, good stocking filler. Also, pan stretcher. If any of you watch my girl's birthday party, which I will link somewhere, she loves trolls. So this is like her dream, her dream. And um, some frozen chocolate, which is good. My children have a playroom, which is where this office is based. As we know, the playroom is full to the brim of stuff. So what do we need? More stuff. So I'm gonna put some a few more little Christmas decorations. These are like a quid. So we've got a cute little penguin. Cute little Father Christmas hats. Um, so that'll look, they'll look great in here. My, the kids will really love them. Oh, and there's another one. A little um, reindeer. I was thinking, now, what is the word about a little reindeer? So those will look great. Those will look great in the kids' room. Pan should also do stockings. And this stocking, which is covered in a lot of glitter, is... Ooh, two quid. That's quite good. You can keep it for a few years. Santa wants to know, have you been naughty or nice? His elves are watching. Leave in the comments if you have kids. I don't care if your kid is two 
Or if you can, he's 22, if you threaten them with, there's not gonna be any presents, because I must be on 77 times a day saying that. What I'm gonna do as soon as I get off this video is do a little bit of decorating um, on the back door in my kitchen. And I'm gonna be putting on a window sticker, 79p, a little snowman, and that's definitely the kind of thing my husband will like. Putting bloody stickers on the windows, but they will peel off, husband dearest. And also some window stickers, so that'll be really nice. Oh, they're 79p, they're cool. Just to put, we'll give them something to do. I'm always, I'm always thinking of, the, of them having things to do. And also, obviously, you need your Santa hat. I've actually got a box full of, like, Santa masks and hats. So when like we have play dates, and we've been having a lot of play dates, I should mean the kids can get dressed up. We've got some glitter snow. We have a fireplace in our bedroom, at which, which Father Christmas comes down, and we like to decorate it the night before Christmas, AKA put loads of glitter, and then come August, I'm still finding glitter, so I will definitely be using that for that. Right, mother. Mother dearest, I'm going around to her house for Christmas lunch. We go to my mother-in-law's in the morning, and then to my mum's. She has a little festive display, so I thought I would take this Christmas tree candle, which is at $1.99. Mom, if you're watching this, and Dad, if you're watching this, you don't like burning candles, so this is ideal for you, because this is a decorative candle that you shall never burn, but you can have it on your Christmas table, looking all festive, and keep it for eternity. Also, they've got this little Christmas pick, which actually, now I'm looking at it, I'm a little bit tempted to put it in the plant in my front garden. Oh man. And we have a Christmas slogan tablecloth. What what a joy. So $5.99. Trip it on the table for Christmas dinner and wash it and put it away to keep forever. Festive tat, festive tat, I love festive tat. Leave in the comments what's your favourite kind of festive tat. Do you like a festive candle? Are you getting slightly irritated by the tree? Are you getting even more irritated by the millions of tiny little cards that your children bring home and when you move in the living room, they all fall over in a domino effect? Because that, my friend, is the kind of reality I'm living at the moment. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, a high five if you want to subscribe. Thanks again to Pan Stretcher for sending me all the lovely tact. And I will see you tomorrow for another upload. Bye guys.